Today's match day hospitality was at Stamford Bridge, home of Chelsea Football Club. I arrived at the stadium about three hours before kickoff and made my way to the club's museum. The museum itself is located just in front of the Matthew Harding stand and once you're inside there is an opportunity to take a photo with the two European Cups. After this there is a short walk upstairs into the museum hospitality. As you walk up the stairs there are photos of former players and historical moments from the club's history. As you enter the museum hospitality area you are given a programme. As there was still quite a lot of time before kickoff, I spent the first 30 minutes having a look around the museum. And this lounge was a little bit unconventional in the sense that it is a functioning museum on non-match days, so you are sitting amongst memorabilia and trophies. As part of the package, there are food and drink stations around the museum, as well as tables. Having already taken a photo with the club's two European Cups, there is an opportunity to also check out the rest of the trophies that the club has won over the years. Throughout the afternoon, the staff were very friendly and attentive, and they were always on hand to top up your drink or give you some more food. If you arrive at the museum early enough, there is a guided tour before the match. A tour guide will take you around the museum and show you everything from previous shirts through to the match-worn shirt by Kai Havertz when the club won the Champions League. And speaking of Champions League winners, one of Petr Cech's helmets is also on display. All of the drinks on offer are included and they are unlimited. Just a shame that they're not served by this man and inside this cup. I then enjoyed a gourmet hot dog and wedges whilst watching the Champions League final highlights. And the food was very good, as were the brownies. After I finished the food, there was a chance to check out some more memorabilia, which included some European pennants, as well as some very old flags. As mentioned, there is seating throughout the space and there is table service as well, but it could probably do with a few more tables. And if you don't get a chance to sit down, you can check out models of previous stadiums as well as future plans. The museum itself was very busy and pretty much all of the tables were taken with a very good atmosphere. If you are thinking about coming with kids, there are some free games and competitions for them to take part in. 20 minutes before kickoff, I did receive a drinks token to use inside the stadium as well as a free gift. Once you're inside the West Stand, there is more food available if you are still hungry. And the drinks token that you received in the museum can be exchanged for a drink either before the match, at half time or at full time. I got my drink before the match and watched some pre-match coverage on the big screen in the bar. Then about 15 minutes before kickoff, it's a good time to head outside into the West Stand. Then it's a short walk down some steps and to your padded seat for the start of the match. Tickets for the museum hospitality package start from £150 per person. Where should we go for the next padded seat?